friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this cataract appears like a posterior polar cataract though i have an access to a fecomation in this case for safety i have decided to do small incision cataract surgery so here is the surgery this is conjunctival peritomy for about 2 clock hours from 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock so the peritomy is done and now I'm going to use bipolar weight field cautery so that I can make a neat sclerocorneal tunnel if it bleeds it is difficult for me to make the sclerocorneal tunnel and there are many surgeons like me who do not like to make a sclerocorneal tunnel without bipolar weight field cautery. Now this is the groove this is about half thickness groove a frown incision about 1.5 millimeter behind the limbus and now I am going to an appropriate depth of about half thickness of the sclera. Now I go forward at the central part and then sweep backward and to the left. So the tunnel on the left side from the center is made and now I come to the center again and sweep backward and to the right and thus I get a sclerocorneal tunnel of about 6 millimeter and now this is a side port on the left side of the main incision and one more side port is being made on the right side of the main incision an air bubble is injected beneath this air bubble tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule now the dye is washed out with a 23G Simcoe cannula then 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is used to fill off the anterior chamber in this case I'm going to make one more incision this is at around 10 o'clock this is a 2.4 millimeter incision I'm going to use this incision for various purposes first I'm going to make a rexis through this incision with a uterate forceps the rexis is done and now before hydrodissection I'm going to divide this nucleus into two halves with the help of this pre-chopper this is Dr. Suhail Khan's pre-chopper so I'm going to divide this nucleus into two halves with the help of this pre-chopper. Now I come out, inject some more visco 
and now I am going to open the tunnel. I take a keratome, go to the anterior extreme of the sclerocorneal tunnel. and then go downward. Now I open the tunnel, I cut the tissue when I go forward. Now hydro dissection is being done very gently. Only a small amount of fluid is being injected and very gently I am trying to mobilize the nucleus but the hydrodissection is not good the nucleus has not got separated from its capsule yet and now I'm going to try to prolapse this nucleus out of the capsular bag but I find that the nucleus is not rotating and I cannot mobilize this nucleus so I abandon this idea of prolapsing this nucleus the nucleus is very soft now I do uh, some more hydro very gently and the equator in the inferior part has prolapsed out of the capsular bag. Now rotate the nucleus and the whole nucleus comes out of the capsular bag. Now my plan is to visco express the nucleus. Here it is inject visco and press the posterior wall of the sclerocorneal tunnel and the nucleus one heminucleus has come out and this is the other heminucleus so most of the nucleus has come out and I find that the posterior capsule is intact and there is some opacity on the posterior capsule which usually happens in posterior polar cataracts and now my plan is to remove the cortical matter very safely there are a lot of cells sticking to the posterior capsule I am not planning to remove the opacity there may be a thin fibrous sheet I am not going to try to remove it if necessary I will do ear glazer capsulotomy after two or three months Now I am using the irrigating probe to dislodge the cells from the posterior capsule and I find that a lot of fibers are standing out at this moment. Now I use irrigation and aspiration and remove the fibers. Now I change hands, irrigation from left and aspiration from right and remove or rest of the cortical matter. Some more fibers is seen on the right side, so I am going to 
use it one more time to remove this it is done and now the antichamber and capsular bag is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose in this case I have selected a sensor multipiece intraocular lens this is the lens I am not going to use any cartridge the lens is going straight without folding because I have a 6 millimeter wound and here it is the lens goes in the leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic is placed in the capsular bag with the help of a uh, MacPherson's forceps and the lens is nicely placed in the capsular bag and now the job is to clean the visco very nicely from anterior chamber and from the capsular bag First uh, is double irrigation. Usual irrigation plus the aspirating port is being used for irrigation and irrigate out ma most of the visco. In this case, it is 2% SPMC. And now I'm going to use irrigation and aspiration cannula together. And now I'm going to use the irrigation and aspiration together and using the side ports. and it is done to maintain the anterior chamber I injected an air bubble here goes the moxifloxacin and now a hydrate corneal stroma on either side of the side ports for closure of these stab incisions this is the final lavage and I find that the intraocular pressure is ok and there is no leakage from any site now the conjunctiva has to be opposed to the limbus my plan is to inject subconjunctival dexamethasone and gentamicin so that chemosis occurs and conjunctiva comes forward the superiorectus brittle suture is removed and now I'm going to use a single releasable suture at the right end of the peritomy instead of using a cautery to oppose the conjunctiva to the limbus I am using this releasable suture I have videos about releasable suture how to apply it how to remove it you can go you can go to my channel and observe this so this is the releasable suture the thread with the needle is cut short near the knot the other suture is kept little longer 
and this longer thread is to be pulled while the patient sits at slit lamp. And now the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Please carry these messages into your brain. Safety of the patient is more important than the size of the wound.